Today we're going to be doing solving trig equations using a cast diagram, which is part of the AS Pure content. Where shall we start? We'll start with actually drawing the cast diagram. The cast diagram is actually an acronym for um, how to memorize what is positive in each quadrant. If I actually draw these lines in and then explain, this is actually how to decipher the different angles. So here is your angle that it makes with the X axis. So here we've got zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. And of course, if it's a full circle, it will be 360 degrees. So going back to this acute angle over here, it is the angle that it makes with the X axis. So you've got X degrees, X degrees, X degrees, and X degrees. So these are the four quadrants. So this is your first quadrant, your second quadrant, your third quadrant, and your fourth quadrant. So in this quadrant, we have um, cosine is positive. In this quadrant, all sine, cos, and tan are positive. And this one you have sine is positive, and this one tan is only positive. So let me just repeat it, hence the acronym CAST is just an easy way to memorize that in this one, cosine is only positive. This one, all cosine, sine and tan are positive. In this quadrant, sine is only positive and this quadrant, tan is only positive. And you're going to see the significance of it later. Also, just a very gentle reminder that an acute angle is when it's less than 90. An obtuse angle is when it's between 90 and 180. And a reflex angle is when it's between 180 and 360. So that's the cast diagram itself. So how do we actually use this to uh, solve equations? So we have, for example, if it says the equation cos x equals to 0 0.68 has a solution x equals to 47.2 degrees to one decimal place, use a cast diagram to find all the solutions in the interval 0 to 360. So what we have to do first is find out what x is actually equal to. So we said cos x was 0 0.68. Now we know that the inverse of cos is cos minus 1. The final x actually is, you do cos minus 1 of 0 0.68 in your calculator. Please make sure your calculator is actually in degrees, not in radians. So x should give you 47.2 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, that's just to show you how we actually found the initial answer. Now, if we go back to our cast diagram that I introduced to you earlier, when you draw your cast diagram, you have 47.2 and it will be here. Okay, now let me explain why it should be here. So firstly, we know that looking at this equation, cosine is positive. Now in our cast diagram, there's only two places that cosine is positive. So the first thing we need to do is 47.2 forms an acute angle over here. So what we need to do is our intervals between zero and 360. So that means it's all the way around. So in that case, it can also be an angle here of 47.2. Now the way we do that is we say, hold on a minute, we are going in the positive direction so it will be going clockwise, right? Now, what we can do, draw in our cast diagram, which might possibly make it easier, is to say that this is, so we have, this is x, this would be 180 minus x, which would mean, which makes sense because you go 180, and if you take away angle x, you find the angle that would be up to this point. Similarly, this would be 180 plus x, and this would be 360 minus x. Purely because if we were going all the way here, that would be 180, this point, plus the angle x, hence 180 plus x. And then if we were going all the way around, it would be 360 minus x would give us all the way up until this point here. So that's our answer. 47.2 so our other answer would be 360 minus 47.2 which gives me my second angle of 312.8 degrees and we're going to leave it to one decimal place because that was what the initial question was given us right let's do another example use a cast diagram to find all the solutions a quarter tan x equals to 1.4 in the interval 0 to 360 give your answer to three significant figures so without 
further ado, let's start. So we've got a quarter tan x. And it's the same concept as algebra because we want to make x a subject of the formula. So first tan x, 1.4 times the 4. So you'll end up with 5.6. And the inverse tan minus 1 of 5.6. And obviously, guys, just plug it in the calculator and make sure it is in degrees mode. And you've got 79.875 to three significant figures. That will be 79.9. OK, to three SF. And obviously, we're talking about degrees here. So again, let's go back to drawing our cast diagram. We have the acute angle. Now, here we want to be careful because tan is only positive in this quadrant. And this quadrant so we can draw our acute angle here and here so we have an acute angle of 79.9 here and here so we've got this angle accounted for already this 79.9 because this is, it is the initial angle however we need to go all the way here and if we look at our initial diagram if we end up here it's 180 plus x which in this example would be 180 so x is also 180 plus the 79.9 which gives us 260 degrees to three significant figures okay so our angles here would be x equals to 79.9 and 260 and of course i've got to write up here x would be just for reference sake, 312.8. Try and get into a good habit of writing the final answers like this and you will see in the latter examples why this will help you out a lot. Right, so that's just solving trigger equations using the cast diagram and getting familiar with what the cast diagram actually is. Now, what about when we solve trigger equations but we now change the interval? So initially we were looking at we're between um, zero to 360 and we just had x but what if we have a fractional x what if we have um, something added on or subtracted from x question three find all the solutions to sine two-thirds x equals 0 0.52 in the interval between 0 to 270 so we've got sine two-thirds x equals 0 0.52 so the first thing we're going to do is we know that 2x over 3 is equal to the inverse sine of 0 0.52 which gives us 31.3 and if you're not sure how many decimal places to round to you tend to go by what the question is giving you um, in this question it's not really specified so I would just stick to one decimal place and just keep consistency because obviously of rounding errors we want to be um, careful later on in the question so once we've got that um, two-thirds x is 31.3 we actually need to change the interval what does that mean so that means that we need to find x between 0 and 270 but currently we're looking at two-thirds of x so that means our interval now changes between 180 and 0 all we've done is to say 270 divided by two-thirds so our new interval that first we need to find is this one okay so let's draw our cast diagram and we have again let's just make sure we're consistent sine is positive so it will be if we go back to our original cast diagram in this quadrant c a s is also positive in this too so it'll be 31.3 31.3 okay so um we're looking in the interval between 180 0 and 180 this is between 0 and 180 because if we go back to our diagram initially this is the straight line yeah so our second solution is 180 minus 31.3 we get 148.6 our two solutions are two-thirds x is equal to 31.3 148.6 but we don't want two-thirds x guys we want x so how do we do that well all we do is to get from two-thirds x to x is to divide by two-thirds so what we're gonna do is if we're dividing obviously this by two-thirds we're dividing all these solutions by two-thirds so 31.3 divided by two-thirds is going to give me the 46.95 or 223.5 to 1 dp 
that will make it consistent. So let's look at another example. What about if we now have adding or subtracting? Solve the following equations in the interval 0 to 360 where cos 3x equals to minus 0 0.3. So cos 3x equals to minus 0 0.24. So 3x, the inverse cos. So you get 3x equals to 103.886. Now, once we've got what 3x is actually equal to, we also want to change our interval. So in the question, it said between 0 and 360. However, we don't want x we want 3x, so that will give us, how do you get from there to there? Well, we're just going to multiply the interval, so it will be 360 times 3, which is 1080, and obviously 0 times 3 is just 0. So this is our new interval where we're looking for the solutions of 3x. Right, so what we need to do is we need to find the acute angle. However, we should have alarm bells ringing because now we have a negative, okay? Now, this is going to change our answer because if we go back to our diagram, we know that in these two quadrants, only sine and tan are positive, which by default means that cosine will be negative, okay? So we're looking and concentrating in these two quadrants at cosine. So let's draw our lines in. Right, so once we've got 3x equals to 103.886, we're going to look in these two quadrants because it will be negative solutions. Also, we need to bear in mind our new interval. So our solutions are 3x. So one of them is 103.886. And then we need to know, well, hey, this is also our acute angle of 76.1 we have here and 76.1 here. Okay, so all I did to get that was if we go all the way here, that will be 103.886. So to get to 80, it will be 76.1. Remember, it's always the acute angle that it makes with the x-axis. So once you've got the first solution, you just got to keep on going around on yourself. So um, we have 180. Our next solution is going to be 180 plus the 76.1, which gives me 256.1. We also need to keep on going because remember our interval has now changed up to 1080 so just to emphasize this this was 0 90 180 270 360 now if we go back on ourselves it's 360 plus 90 which is 450 then we got 540 okay because we're adding on a 90 each time so 540 add on 90 gives me 630 i go around again gives me 720 plus another 90 gives me 810 plus another 90 gives me 900 okay and then you get 990 and then 1080 which is our interval so what we're actually doing there what we've realized is we're going round on ourselves three times because we got 360 add another 360 which is 720 and then add another 360 which is 1080 so we need to go around three times so we've been around once, so we've got 103.886 and then 256.1. So we're going to go around again. So we're going to end up with 540 at this point minus the 70. So 540 minus 76.1, because remember this is no longer 180 here. We're on our second round. So then we're going to have uh, 463.9. Then we go around again we have 540 plus the 76.1, which ends up with um, 616.1. And our final solution is we've got 900, okay, because this is now we're going on our third round. So we've hit this point, 720. We're coming back on ourselves, so we've got 900. So we're going to have 900 minus 76.1 and 900 add that. So 900 minus 76.1 gives me 823.9 and then 900 add 76.1 which gives me 976.1 right guys that's a lot of solutions so we've got one two three four five six because we're looking at the interval just to go back to the question it was between zero and 1080 so we had to basically go around on ourselves 
three times yeah so now what do i do to get my final solutions so we've got 3x equals to 103.8 now guys we found out what three three x is we don't want three x we want what x was so obviously to get from three x to x we just divide in by three so if and that's your final solutions guys